Hello Astro friends, I'm TJ Connolly from ZWO Support and this is a look at the all new ZWO ASI 533MM Pro. I've been using this camera for several weeks now and it's a terrific monochrome camera. It's a perfect camera for those looking to enter the monochrome world and switch over from their one-shot color camera. The camera is priced affordably and gets the best bang for the buck. Because of the smaller sensor size, less expensive 1.25 inch filters can be used. The camera uses a 9 megapixel back illuminated Sony IMX533 sensor. The sensor size is square 11.31 by 11.31 millimeters and has a 1 inch diagonal. The pixel size is 3.76 microns and the output is 14 bits with a read noise level of less than 1.0 electrons. This gives the camera high dynamic range. The protective window over the sensor has an anti-reflective coating. It has a high quantum efficiency at 91% at 460 nanometers. Quantum efficiency, which is displayed as QE, is the measure of the effectiveness for an imaging device to convert photons into electrons. For example, if a sensor had a QE of 100% and was exposed to 100 photons, it would produce 100 electrons of signal. Sensors are never 100% efficient though, and different sensor technologies have different QE values. To further put this into perspective, the ASI 1600MM Pro has a QE of 60% and the 183MM Pro has a QE of 84%. The well depth is a whopping 50,000 electrons on the ASI 533MM Pro compared to 15,000 electrons on the 183MM Pro and 20,000 electrons on the 1600MM Pro. The camera also has a 256 megabyte DDR3 catch and a USB 3 interface to ensure stable and reliable data transmission. It has a frame rate of 20 frames per second at full resolution. The camera has a USB hub on the back with two USB ports. This is convenient for connecting the EAF and the EFW both to the back of the camera. The images are very smooth which are quite evident in the dark frames. This is a 10 minute or 600 second exposed dark frame with the ASI 533MM Pro. The images have very little noise and no amp glow. Traditional CMOS sensors can generate weak infrared light, which shows up in the image as a light source during imaging. Here's an example of a 600 second dark frame through the ASI 294MM Pro. Notice the increased noise and the amp glow that's present. The 533MM Pro uses no glow circuitry to eliminate amp glow regardless of the exposure and gain setting. Sure, the cameras with amp glow can calibrate out, but it's nice to have a smooth and low noise image straight from the camera without any amp glow before calibration, which means it's easier to calibrate and process at the end. It is also nice if you're sharing images live with friends or at a star party or at a public outreach event. The camera has a two stage thermoelectric cooler that can cool the sensor 35 degrees Celsius below the ambient temperature. Although this camera already has low noise, the cooled sensor will reduce dark current and drastically improve the signal to noise ratio, even with long exposures. Now let's take a closer look at the camera and what's included in the box. The camera has M42 male threads on the front. Already installed on the camera out of the box is an 11 millimeter M42 spacer with cover. The camera also includes a nice nylon zippered camera bag, a 1.25 inch nose piece, two half meter USB 2 cables, a two meter USB 3 cable, a quick guide for the camera, a T2 to M48 16.5 millimeter spacer, a T2 21 millimeter spacer, a M42 to M48 adapter, a T2 to 1.25 inch adapter for threaded 1.25 inch filters, four thin spacers, and a 1.25 inch cover. Here are some images I took with the ASI 533MM Pro. 
These images were captured with the ASI 533mm Pro through a 72mm f3.9 refractor with the new Optolong 3 nanometer narrowband filter set on the ZWO AM5 mount and using the ASI Air Plus for full wireless control and image acquisition. The first target was NGC 7000, also known as the North America Nebula. I cooled the sensor to negative 10 degrees Celsius, set the gain level to 100, and captured 10 300 second guided hydrogen alpha images. I then captured 10 300 second oxygen 3 images. Next were 10 300 second sulfur 2 images. I combined the images using PixInsight and processed the image to a SHO palette. The sulfur 2 was mapped to red, the hydrogen alpha was mapped to green, and the oxygen 3 was mapped to blue. I then used the same setup, the ASI 533mm Pro, through a 72mm f3.9 refractor on M51 for a hydrogen alpha LRGB image. I again set the gain to 100, cooled the camera to negative 10 degrees Celsius, and captured 10 300 second hydrogen alpha images through the Optolong 3 nanometer hydrogen alpha filter. I then captured 10 180 second images through the ZWO luminance filter. I then captured 10 180 second images through the ZWO red filter. I then captured 10 180 second images through the ZWO green filter. I then captured 10 180 second images through the ZWO blue filter. I combined the images using the Astro Pixel processor and did the final processing in PixInsight. In summary, this is an excellent Astro dedicated cool camera for the beginner, a first monochrome camera for someone transitioning from one shot color, or for the advanced imager looking to upgrade their monochrome camera. This camera definitely doesn't disappoint. Thanks for listening, and remember, if you ever have any questions or need support, please email me, support at zwoptical.com. Clear skies, my friends.